What's up, y'all? It's Free Wheel Khalil. I'm here with the KM Riker. And today, I'm going to show you guys the simplest maintenance item you can do on your bike changing the air filter. Here we have a K&N air filter built specifically for the Can-Am Riker. Um, I personally have used K&N air filters in a lot of cars in the past. I've done a lot of research on them. Don't really want to get into the debate on whether you think they're good or not. Choose whichever air filter you think works best for your engine, will keep uh, particulates out of your engine, and uh, you believe, you know, is the easiest to maintain, etc. So for me, that's a K&N air filter, and I'm going to be putting that in the Riker today. One of the first things that you'll notice about the K&M Riker is that each side has an air intake vent, and actually each side also has an air filter. However, on the throttle side of the bike, that air filter is used for the CVT transmission. We won't be replacing that with a K&N air filter, uh, mostly because I don't want to get any sort of contaminant on that CVT belt. What we will be doing is changing the engine air filter, which is on the non-throttle side of the bike, and we'll be changing that over to the performance air filter. So first things first, we need to remove the air box that holds that air filter in place. Uh, if you look down here, you can see that we have one clip here and one clip there. Basically, both of these clips hold the air box in place. So just reach back there, apply a little bit of pressure towards you, pull that clip, and then another a little bit of pressure towards you again to pull the other clip. Once you've done that, the air box is completely free and you can reach and completely remove the air box, no problem. With the air box removed, I grab a non-marring pry tool and just try and get a lift up on one of the corners so that I can get a grip on the current air filter and then voila, I can remove it. As you can see, this air filter is actually pretty new. I've only had the bike uh, for a little bit, so I'm going to save that for later. Now I've gone ahead and wiped this down for any excess oil, and we're just going to plop it on into the air box, making sure that it's got a nice good seat. And now we can throw it back on the Riker. Reinstallation of the airbox is fairly simple. Granted, you can line things up a little better than I can. Uh, took me two tries here, but once I kind of looked at it and you can see exactly where it should sit, just make sure it's kind of closer to the top body panels and you can easily clip it right back into place. Thanks for tuning in guys. I've been Three Wheel Khalil and this has been how to change the air filter on a K&M Riker.